Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Talk Marketing with Ted, a learning series from 7th Point. I'm Ted Rook, Vice President of Media Services. Today we're going to talk about the GeoMarket Selection Tool. For many marketers, understanding the markets that they advertise in is critical for their success. Many marketers advertise in multiple cities and understanding which of these cities is going to drive the strongest ROI is critical to maximizing the performance of their marketing. The GeoMarket Selection Tool is designed to tell you which of the markets will deliver the most success. Let me show you how it works. The GeoMarket Selection Tool starts with understanding where your customers are coming from. In this example, we use a destination in West Virginia that draws from various cities around the area. We start with markets like Pittsburgh, Washington, D.C., Cincinnati, Huntington and Charleston, West Virginia, and markets as far away as Roanoke and Harrisonburg, Virginia. Understanding where your customers are coming from is a key to understanding what markets you're going to want to advertise in. Now that you know where your customers are coming from, you need to understand the data that your company has that tells you how each of these markets perform against each other. For example, in this instance, we're taking a look at a destination marketer who gets customers from various cities. So we're looking at things like average spend per party, average party size, average length of stay, the distance away from each of these markets, the total population of these markets, and of course, the demographic percentage of your target audience in each of these cities. These data points are what tells us how valuable each of these markets are, especially in comparison to each other. Now that you have your markets and all the data points that you're using in your GeoMarket selection tool, the next step is to create a chart that houses all of the information, all of the individual data points for each market and each piece of information. Things like population of 2.3 million people in Pittsburgh, or 23% new visitors coming from Pittsburgh. Four and a half days as your average length of stay. For each of these markets, you're gonna be putting in that specific information that pertains to each city. So once you've created your chart that houses all of the raw data, the next thing you need to do is understand how each of these markets perform against each other. And what I like to do is I like to create indexes because an index tells you how each piece of information compares against the average. For example, Pittsburgh is 42% larger than the average market, whereas Roanoke is only 20% the size of the average market. By creating these index scores, we're able to understand how each of these markets compare to the average. Once we have these indexes, we're able to translate these into a point value for the purposes of scoring each of the markets. Now that you've created your indexes, the next part is to take those indexes and create a point score. What you need to do here is, starting with a point score of 10 for being average, for every 10 percentage points above or below average, you will either gain a point or lose a point. So for example, Pittsburgh is 41.9% larger than the average population of the market set. So they'll get four points extra in this data field. Whereas Charleston is just 13% the size of the average score, so they're gonna lose eight points. Once you've translated your indexes into point scores, you're almost done. What you're gonna end up with is a chart that has numeric values in every square. These are the point values that each market gets for every one of the data points. And then you have your last step which is to add them all together and see which market has the highest point value. You'll end up with a list of markets with a total point value. For example, Pittsburgh has 98.5 points, whereas Washington, D.C. has 111.5 points. The markets that have the highest point value become the markets that you'll want to advertise in because they'll be the most effective, whereas the markets with the lower point values, such as Roanoke and Charleston, will be the markets you want to avoid because they'll be the least effective. We understand that this is a lot to take in, but we also believe that math and data is what's going to guide you through today's marketing challenges. For more information on how we can develop a specific geomarket selection tool just for you, call us or visit our website at seventhpoint.com.